Here one quick biochemistry basics here. Let's talk about paper chromatography. Paper chromatography is a common technique widely used for the separation of chlorophyll pigments, amino acids, DNA bases, etc. In paper chromatography, paper acts as a solid supporting material. The water molecules present in the pores of the paper act as a stationary phase. While the mixture of different solvents such as ethanol, ether, etc. can be used as a mobile phase. The sample is applied on the paper using a capillary. Once the sample is applied, the chromatography can be carried out in different mode. The mode of operation of paper chromatography can be ascending mode, descending mode, radial mode, and a two-dimensional mode. In the ascending mode, the mobile phase solvent is kept at the bottom of the chamber. A small portion of paper is immersed in the mobile phase. The solvent in the mobile phase moves upwards due to the capillary reaction. During this process, the sample molecules get separated. Separation occurs because of the difference in the solubility of molecules in the mobile phase and the stationary phase. In the descending mode, the mobile phase solvent is kept on the top of the chamber. The solvent in the mobile phase moves downwards and separates the sample molecules. In case of radial paper chromatography, a wick is attached at the center of a circular paper. This wick remains submerged in the mobile phase. The wick absorbs the mobile phase solvent by capillary action. As the mobile phase moves throughout the paper in a radial fashion, the separation of the sample occurs radially. In case of two-dimensional paper chromatography, the chromatography is first carried out in one dimension. Once the chromatography is over, the paper is now rotated by 90 degrees and the chromatography is again carried out. The two-dimensional paper chromatography is widely used for the separation of amino acids.